Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Martin Atariani and I'm a dentist running my own practice in Northamptonshire in England. During these unprecedented times and due to the fact that dental services and dental practices are closed and access to dental emergency services are limited, I'd like to give you some advice on how you can look after your oral hygiene and your teeth a bit better and hopefully avoid any dental emergencies. As we already know, the resources on the NHS are hugely overstretched on these days and uh, anything we can do on an individual level uh, to help to minimise that burden would be hugely appreciated. In terms of keeping a good oral hygiene, there are two routines that you need to follow. The first one is to clean between the teeth. Brushing only brushes 60% of the teeth. So if you don't do any interdental cleaning, ultimately you'll end up with leaving 40% of your teeth uncleaned and untouched on a daily basis. There are two ways of, of cleaning between the teeth. You can use floss or you can use brushes. I normally recommend these brushes to my patients. They are a lot easier to use and they are more efficient in cleaning. These are TP brushes, but there are different other brands on the market as well. Uh, doesn't matter which one you use, use the one that you uh, um, are happy to use. Here I have a uh, model and what you do then is that you uh, push the brush just between your teeth and you go in and out five to ten times. All right. For a bit bigger space, I would use a bigger brush. Now, obviously your mouth is not color coded. So the best way of deciding what brush to use where is to uh, use a brush and make sure you feel a bit of resistance as it goes through. All right. If you use uh, a thin brush in a big gap, it's just gonna go through and not clean properly. And if you use a big brush for a small gap, it's gonna get stuck and you might stab your gum and damage your gum. In places where you can't use the brushes, uh, you can use floss. And the best way of doing it is to try to get through the contact area between the teeth by going back and forth pushing down at the same time and get the floss through and between the two teeth. Once you're there, you have to remember that you've got two teeth to clean. So you pull backwards to clean this surface on this tooth first. Once you've done that, you need to pull to the other direction and then clean on the other surface of the other tooth. Now, once you've done your flossing, it's important that you come out sideways instead of trying to pull it um, uh, uh, from between the teeth. Uh, if you've got fillings, crowns and, and veneers, gradually you can pull these off. So once you've done your cleaning, just come out sideways. Now, once you've done your interdental cleaning, it's time to brush your teeth. Uh, what you have to bear in mind is that food plaque normally retains along the gums, not on the flat surface of the teeth. So when you brush, you want to clean extra carefully along the gums everywhere. Now you've done your interdental cleaning, so hopefully all the spaces between here has already been cleaned. And then with your brush, come out 45 degrees of an angle and try to push the bristles against the gum, all right? Now I'm gonna hold here, I'm gonna show you what I mean. So you come almost like this, and then you go in circles and try to get the bristles um, pushed a tiny bit under the gum. And then you go along all the other teeth, all right? You have to make sure obviously that you brush the outside, the top and the inside of these teeth, of, of, of all your teeth. We do recommend electric brushes. They are more efficient. There's loads of studies 
that show that electric brushes are more efficient. They are simpler to use. It does the cleaning for you. All you need to do is to concentrate on where you're placing the, the brush. And again, you want to be by the gum line, 45 degrees of an angle. See if you can get the bristles to go uh, just under the gum or along the gum and clean everything out. All right. And in many of these, you got a bit of pressure sensor as well. So if you press too hard, you get a red light on the handset. And that prevents you from brushing aggressively or applying too much pressure, which ultimately can uh, rob away and wear away the enamel on your teeth. Obviously, make sure to use fluoride toothpaste. And after you brush your teeth, if you can avoid, try to keep that um, toothpaste in your mouth. And if you feel that you have to rinse your mouth, try to use minimum, minimal amount of water because that toothpaste that stays in helps to protect your teeth. Now I'd like to give you some advice and tips on how you can deal with some common dental emergencies. Now the first two things you have to remember is that in any event of any emergencies, make sure you keep up with a good oral hygiene and also make sure to uh, reduce the uh, daily sugar intake. As we know, sugar is what causes cavities and blocks the teeth away. So if you have a broken tooth, uh, crowns that come loose, um, all that can expose the tooth to the, to the oral uh, environment. And if you are uh, using a lot of sugar, frequent sugar intake can cause decay. So two things to remember at all times, good oral hygiene and minimize the um, sugar intake. And it's not the amount, it's the frequency throughout the day that you need to be careful with. All right. Um, if you suffer from sensitivity, um, again, keeping a good oral hygiene, uh, reduce sugar intake, uh, rub a bit of toothpaste after you brush your teeth. Again, rub a bit of toothpaste, sensor on repair and protect is a good one. Uh, but any other uh, toothpaste designed for sensitive teeth, rub a bit of uh, paste on your tooth and leave overnight. Uh, if you've got toothache, uh, try to manage it with painkillers. Keep good oral hygiene reduce your sugar intake and what you also can do is, is that after you brush your teeth you can rub a bit of toothpaste on that specific tooth and leave overnight. If you lost a filling, if you have a fractured tooth, if you got a bit of toothache, uh, take some painkillers and see if you can get a dental repair kit from a, a chemist and try to see if you can patch your teeth up. It's still important to keep good oral hygiene, reduce the sugar intake, and take regular painkillers uh, pain if you are in pain. And what you also can do, if you can't patch your teeth up, if you can't get a dental kit, you can rub a bit of toothpaste and leave inside the cavity just to prevent further decay. Bleeding gums normally are due to gum infection or gum disease. Like I said earlier, good oral hygiene is really important. So make sure you keep clean interdentally, but elsewhere as well in, in, in the mouth and around your teeth and the bleeding should subside gradually. If you suspect that you might have gum disease, it's very important that you see your dentist and, and hygienist once we are back to normal. If your denture is rubbing, you can try to fix it in the most comf comfortable position by using fixant. Or you can use Seabon denture pads to cover the area that is digging in. Uh, but a worst case scenario, uh, you can just uh, take them out, try to leave them out, and only wear it where you have to or when you have to eat your food.
again, if you can get hold of a dental repair kit, you can try to put them back on. If they do fit back on, on, onto your tooth, make sure you clean everything underneath, clean the inside of the veneer and the crown or the bridge, and then put it back on. If you can't put it back on, leave it as it is, but obviously make sure you keep good oral hygiene, you keep clean around the, the uh, supporting teeth, and you can always rub a bit of toothpaste again, leave overnight if you experience any sensitivity around those teeth. If you have swelling and abscess, you would need antibiotics. So speak to your, call your dentist. Most dentists should be on call, they triage the patients over the phone and they should be able to get you some, some antibiotics. Now, if you get any ulcers in the mouth, uh, Bongella is, is good to use to numb and, and minimize the pain. If the pain is, is more substantial, you can use painkillers for that. Otherwise, keep a good oral hygiene and you can rinse with salt water as well to reduce the infection. Always remember, any ulcer in the mouth should go away within two weeks. Anything uh, longer than that, uh, it needs to be checked uh, by your dentist. Now, in terms of painkillers, I normally recommend paracetamol, uh, one gram, four times a day to my patients, or ibuprofen, 400 milligrams, three times a day. And if the pain is severe, you can alternate between the two. Now, there are quite uh, contradictive reports in regards to relationship between ibuprofen and COVID-19 uh, virus. So if you do suspect um, being infected uh, by the coronavirus, I would say uh, it's probably best to stay away from ibuprofen at the moment. I hope you found this video and uh, instructions useful. Uh, please feel free to share with your family and friends. Um, keep safe, keep healthy, stay at home, and together we will get through this. Take care.